Welcome everyone. I'm Ashley with Going Crochet Easy and today is April 3rd. I'm gonna go ahead and do some crocheting. And if you saw last week's video, you know that I, did, I am starting a new thing every Wednesday in April, maybe longer. I have multiple books, uh, like crochet books. So I think I have five books total and they're all the worsted weight yarn. Um, so acrylic yarn and I have multiples of them and I haven't been using the patterns and I just got this book uh, for Christmas this year actually. The other ones I got for Christmas last year. I have made a few of the items but I haven't done any of them lately because I'm always scrolling through Pinterest or Etsy or Ribbler or all of the above um, to find patterns and Instagram is a big one too. Um, but I wanted to start doing some of these patterns because I have the books, why not? So April 2nd, I went ahead and um, did a random pick of a book and this is the book that I got. And then I literally just went like this and wherever I stopped was the pattern that I picked and the pattern I ended up landing on. Let me find it. I landed on Willow. And so now I'm going to make her. So every Wednesday, I'm gonna do a random pick and whatever I land on, I have to make. And if I've already made that pattern, then I can repick, but otherwise I have to make what I pick on. Even if I don't wanna make that one, I have to make it. So I think it'll be a fun new um, challenge for me um, for the month of April. And so I picked out my yarn and now I'm gonna get started. Just a little update on my willow. Her head is made, but that is all. That is all I have so far. This was an entire page on its own. Um, and there are eight pages to this pattern. So she's gonna be a while. Took me a while to make the head, but the head is done. And now I'm moving on to the body. So I'll keep you updated. Good morning, everyone. It is officially April 4th, and I am here just to show you my update from last night. I had the head finished, I got the body finished, and I got one leg done. And that's all I got done yesterday. This is a big project. All of these are big projects because they're the smaller yarn and they're very detailed. Um, so I'm expecting it to take me a couple more days to do. Um, but that is what I got done last night. And so I'm going to continue right now doing some more and I'll check in uh, when I take my first break. Right, guys, I am struggling with this. Um, I had a feeling this is a really in detail pattern that I'm making and I just haven't been feeling it. Um, so I did end up doing the second leg and two arms and I'm halfway done one of the ears, but it's like still on, still on the hook here. Um, so this is going to be one of the ears. Uh, and after I do the ears, I also have to do two main antlers four antler branches and then sew all of those together and then I have to do two wings um bottom feather middle feather top feather a tummy a, um, a bunch of flowers and then assemble it all together so it's a big project um I knew it would be when I landed on it and I was like oh boy this is a big project to start with but I'm still gonna work on it some more tomorrow. I just kind of lost steam on it today. I ended up um, taking a nap. I, I don't know, I've been tired in the afternoon lately. Um, just changing routine maybe, the weather, um, something, something's a little off. Um, so I haven't been crocheting as much as I typically do. I've been just a little bit slower on it. Um, so I'm getting it step by step, but it's a slow process, but it's gonna, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna make sure I get it done within the week, um, just so I can start that new project next week. Um, but I did do uh, my one hour video today um, for 
upcoming Sunday video and it was on um, some sunflower turtles and so I'm not going to show you how many I made um, because it would spoil it for Sunday's video but I did make some of these guys today um, yeah and so you have to stay tuned for Sunday's video to see these and how many I can make in an hour and that is all for tonight I'm gonna go ahead and chill out. It is 9.30 p.m. and I'm just gonna go and read some more fourth wing and chill out. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is officially April 5th. Um, even though I should be working on Willow, I made more turtles instead <laughs> because uh, why not? So I made with the peacock, Parfait Chunky, and then this is Hobie, and this is the same Hobie yarn as yesterday on the Sunflower Turtles. I made three more turtles, and then I ran out of the peacock yarn. So um, now I guess I have no excuse other than to go ahead and go make, go make some more of that willow. So I guess I'll go. Guys, I just wanted to show you how far on my willow I am. It is still uh, April 5th and I have the bunny portion, except for the tail, done on willow. And I gave her like a little cocked head so she's kind of glancing off to the distance. Um, and her ears, legs, arms are all on. And now I'm working on the details to make her into the Wolpertinger. So it starts of two of her antlers, so the big parts of her antlers. And now I'm working on the little nubs that will come out of it. So I need to make three more of those nubs. I need to make her wings and her floral crown and she will be done. So not sure I'll be able to finish her tomorrow because I have my market, but definitely Sunday or Monday she will be done. So yay! Hey everyone, it is April 6th and I just got home from my market and one thing I did buy a antler, it, like an actual antler from the vendor that was sitting next to me and the dogs are fighting over it. This is the antler and they are loving it. So I'm forcing them to take turns. I should have bought two, but I will be seeing her shortly because she did order um, something for me that I have to make for her. So the next time I see her, I will definitely be purchasing a second antler um, because you see Tracker back here, he is impatiently waiting his turn. Um, I've switched it back and forth a couple times now and he's just back here um, wanting to get his turn again he's so mad at me and anyway I did do some crocheting today because the market was um slow so I was able to do quite a bit of crocheting and I got all of this done I mean I had started at I was probably about here before the market and so I got all of that done and I am on my last skein of that color so once the skein is done, I'm gonna be done with my blanket. But that is how that is turning out. So it was a successful day of crochet still, even though I was unable to do any crocheting at home yet. But I do plan to uh, continue Willow tonight. Last night after I got off camera, I literally just like curled up in a ball right here with a blanket and I passed out on the couch. I didn't do any more crocheting. So I have to go and uh, work on Willow a little bit more today. I'm hoping to be able to get her done uh, tomorrow, fingers crossed. And then I will be able to have a couple days off in between my um, work, my projects, my, my, Tracker just stole the bow from Fred because he dropped it. Fred's now looking at me like he's very upset. Um, look at Fred. Fred, did he steal your bone? Did he steal your bone? Get it back. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, but I will be 
picking a new project um, on Wednesday. And so I'm hoping I'll have Monday and Tuesday just to kind of do a bunch of whatever I want to. Um, since the market was fairly slow, I don't really have any inventory prep necessities that I do need to do because um, my next market is in like three weeks and I have plenty to bring to that one so I don't have to do any market prep so I'm just gonna be doing things that I I want to make and so uh, with that I guess I'm gonna go like veg out on the couch with my pups and work on Willow so um, maybe I'll update you again tonight before I go to bed or I'll update you on Willow in the morning. Good morning everyone it is April 7th and I'm just coming on before I go and get ready for the day so I kind of look like a hot mess but I just wanted to show you what I got done this morning and last night so I added my antlers to my Wolpert hanger and I added the wings. I do need to like adjust and figure out how to flatten these out a little bit better. But I have the wings and I have the horns or antlers on. And so now all I need to do is add his floral crown and he will be done. I love his little cocked head. I think it's so cute. And um, oh yeah, I also added the little um, belly patch. So he is almost done. Look at him. He looks like he's very inquisitive. I looked up um, traits of a Wolpertinger and it made me laugh because one of the traits of a Wolpertinger is that they lure Taurus into the woods to get them lost and starve. So this cute sweet little innocent creature I'm making isn't so innocent after all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is what I have done so far. I just have to make all the flowers for his crown and I'll get that done later today, but I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day now. And I finished her. Willow is done and I love her with her little flower crown. Look at her crown. Isn't that so pretty? showed her to my husband last night before she had her wings on but she had her antlers on and he was like is that a jackalope and i was like no it's a wolper wolper tinger and he was like well it gave me jackalope vibes and so i was like hey yeah um but i think she's pretty cool Feel like she's probably gonna be for someone very specific uh, she's not gonna be for everyone's crowd because it's a beautiful bunny but she does have like the wings and the antlers on her um, and I originally was only going to make her as a bunny with a floral floral crown and I wasn't gonna add the antlers and the wings to her but since it was part of my mission to make what I picked from the book I felt like I had to so here she is and this is the book and I'm very happy with her and how she turned out so I can't wait for Wednesday to pick my next item but I will I have to go pick up my son now so I will not be crocheting this afternoon unless I do a little bit more of my blanket when I'm at my parents house uh, when I go to pick him up uh, but I will get back to you guys either tomorrow or the next day um, and check in and see what I'm up to so see you guys Good morning everyone Good. today is April 8th and it's total eclipse day here where we live and um, so that means I have a very busy day ahead of me not only do I have I have a massage this morning, yay. Um, I have a Cub Scouts thing with my son for the eclipse, and then we have a, an appointment for Tracker. So I'm not sure I'm gonna get very much crocheting done today, but I did wanna show you, this is a custom order I am working on right now, um, and I will show you more when it is done. But uh, for now, that is all I had. I didn't really do much crocheting last night after I picked my son up 
we just kind of went for a walk and had, um, you know, some family time. And so now I'm gonna get ready to go to my appointment and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, update for the day. Progress has not been very good. Uh, this is as far as I've gotten. Um, so not very much from when I left off this morning. Um, but I did get my massage, had a nice relaxing massage. I got to watch the eclipse with my son and he got a new badge um, for the eclipse and it glows in the dark. So he was really excited about that for his Cub Scouts. And Tracker over there, over there, got three shots and one of his quicks got cut when uh, the vet was cutting up his toenails. So he he's getting a little Prince treatment right now. I just gave him a treat and he's sitting on his pillow um, and he's looking a little drowsy right now. So that's the progress there. And then I did get these in the mail. I ordered three sets of eyeballs. I got the first set. I would have showed you um, me unboxing them, but uh, they, I didn't know that they were coming today and the bag was already open when it got here. So I was worried that, cause I had ordered three sets and I was worried that they, the rest hadn't gotten here, but I checked and the rest, the other two are on their way. So I got some more 14 millimeter eyes, uh, and I'll put those in my, um, little bin that I use and that's it for now. extras stay in their bag and they get marked because otherwise I don't know what size they are because it doesn't say on here. So I just put 14 millimeters and I put that in my little box to keep my extra eyes in until they get low again and then I will restock. It is April 9th and I did not do any more last night after I got off the video with you. I literally took a nap on the couch and then went to bed. Um, I just haven't been feeling the greatest. I think I'm coming down with a cold. You probably can hear it in my voice. I'm a bit stuffy. But I did finish this guy this morning. Um, and I made another one. So I have two of these guys done. And now I am going to move on and work on a loaf cat with this color yarn. So it's like my leftover yarn from a previous project. And so I'm just gonna play around, make my first ever loaf cat. All right guys, before I go pick my hubby up at the airport, um, so I probably won't be reporting back too much uh, tonight. Um, I just wanted to show you, I did make myself three of these little loaf kitties um, all in the same yarn because I was just using up leftover yarn I had and I had lots of this one and I liked the looks of them but here they are and I probably won't be reporting all that much more so I'm gonna close out this video here to say uh, thank you for joining me um, watching my week of crochet and I will see you guys next week uh, for some more um, crocheting and have a great rest of your week. Um, like, subscribe, comment, uh, send me a little kitty emoji down below if you um, got all the way through this video and I will see you all next time. Bye!